Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We are currently on Varnaboris, which is still moving around the desert, which is really cool to just look around as you're on top of it, as it's moving. Just looking at its legs as they walk around, and just... It's just so cool. This is probably my favorite one, just because of the way it moves. Oh my goodness, so cool. Anyway... Let's actually get back onto what we're doing, now that we're here. And we probably want to start off by, I believe, changing up our gear, since we're going to be fighting some things. And actually try and get rid of my Moblin Spear, so I'm going to just switch to that, so I can break that normally. I probably don't want to use uh, Bomb Arrows at the moment. That can stay as that is. Armor, let's go with probably our best stuff, like that. And I think we're pretty much good with that now. Let's go. This is my first Divine Beast back in... Uh, 2019, I think? Possibly? No. Maybe? Yeah, I think it was 2019 when I first played this game. Which is uh, a little bit later than everyone else, but that's okay. Oh, there goes that. And I had a bit of trouble with it my first time, which is why I need to explain a few things some more. I mentioned on, I believe, I think I mentioned on Valrusia that I had a bit of trouble with knowing about how to use the map on Divine Beasts. So that, that, that's still in effect on this one, but we need to actually get the map first, so let's go do that. Then I'll explain just everything that went wrong my first time. The amount of time I spent just here doing nothing, going around in circles and all that. Anyway, up here is the terminal, so let's activate. Good work getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Nabordis are noted by a series of glowing points on your map. Take Nabordis back by activating all of the terminals. You're ready for this. I might be ready for the terminals, but I, I'm not sure if I'm ready for what comes after that. So, before we do anything with the map, let's have a look around and see what we can do. On my first time, I didn't know how to use the map, so I just ran around the place, like, over and over in circles, just not knowing what to do. So, but, basically, if you go to your map, you can see these three points that we can turn, and it will rotate the inside a circle thing by 90 degrees each time. There's also that light, those, like, green lines in the orange line that we need to keep in mind as well. And we'll go over that in a minute once we have a look at some other stuff first. Is this a terminal in here? I think it is. Yeah, there's a terminal on that wall. Which means we're probably gonna have to rotate something to get to it. Now I don't actually know what else is here to collect. But there are a, f are a few things that I need to keep an eye out for, so Oh, and there's another Guardian. Have I taken a picture of one of these default Guardians? Yes, I have. Guardian Scout 2, actually. I didn't press that, I pressed this. Thank you. Oh, please don't do that. Let's just do the whole bunch of this. There we go. There goes my Soldier's Claymore, but that's okay. We've got an Ancient Battle Axe. Weapon used by Guardian Scouts. Its unique blade was forged using ancient technology. Although powerful, its unusual shape causes it to break easily. Let me drop that quickly because I don't think I've taken a picture of a default one if I haven't picked one up at all. So let's do that. Oh, come on. This is also where we saw Zelda and Obosa in the cutscene. 
the memory that we had when we got the Thunder Helm, so that's also good to keep in mind. It's cool to see places we've only seen in cutscenes. Oh, and there's that there as well. It's actually interesting looking at the map because you can see that Obos... No, what's it called? Uh, Varnaboros's head and neck is all the way down, which is quite strange looking. Not gonna lie. Oh, please get up there. Thank you. Grab this chest. Ancient spring. Is that everything over here? I think it is. So now... I think there's like... Like two, maybe... Maybe two more things that we can do before... Actually rotating stuff. Oh my goodness, this over here is going to be... Interesting, I think. You have to be careful with this chest because... If you just cut the rope that it's on... It will just fall. And you'll lose it forever, I'm pretty sure. So let's just... Do that while it's swinging, so it falls this way. Ancient Core, that's a pretty good reward that you don't want to miss out on. I don't think we can see shrines while we're up here or anything, so... If you're hoping to find anything from here, you can't really, unfortunately. So, anyway, that's one of the two things that we had remaining to check out before everything else. Is there still a few more side paths that we can take, so... Well, this place looks crazy. Just a little bit. Also, we didn't have a look at the terminal in the in Varuta before we had a look at everything else. But it just does nothing if you... ...do this. Unable to activate main control unit. Unactivated terminals remain. So yeah. Let's go have a look at this Guardian. Ow. Take that, thank you. He's gonna drop his parts off the edge, I can already tell. Okay, gonna take that Guardian Sword with us. Now over here, what do we have over here? Is this just another entrance exit thing? I think so. So now, that that's all done, let's go ahead and go to the map. So I did not know how to use this when I first played, so let's go ahead and just click that twice. Rotating the block that we're currently standing on. And as you can see, we can also use it to get us higher up around the place. And yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. We also put that, um, that cage thing over there onto the side here. And if I've got the entrance in the right position... We can actually go inside. And now, if I rotate that one more time. Now we can examine this, and yeah. There are four terminals remaining. I'm counting on you. I bet you are. Well, anyway, now let's rotate that a few more times. Also, I like the music in here as well, which is strange considering how much trouble I had with this the first my first time. Also, I believe if we get all the way down with one of the circles, probably not this one, there's just a hole in the bottom of the Divine Beast. And if you fall through that, you will just fall. So let me figure out which one of that is. So I think I need to rotate these two. Okay, those those two to find out at the very least. Which one is it? Or is it none? Is it none? I was so sure that the one of them had a hole that would just lead out into death. I guess there is a, probably a little platform under there where we started at. But that's okay. Okay, so now I think I'm going to stand up here and rotate this one a little bit. Oh, don't do that. Just exit. Okay, that's actually not rotating, rotating the way I thought it would. But I saw that terminal that was on it. But I've also saw the chests, and I want to get the I want to get the chests. Let's rotate that again. Okay, it's over there. But I think I can get there. 
And I think if I rotate the middle one a little bit more, I can actually... I can actually... Probably need to be rotated twice, yeah. We can see that it's bringing up these two bridges things as well. There's also that, that I want to get rid of, that malice, eye of malice, which has many eyes on it, which is really weird to look at. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Okay, so let's go across here. I don't know if you're supposed to rotate yourself with the blocks, but I think, I think that's how it's intended. It's fine. There's another terminal. Now I'm going to have a look at getting those chests. So I think for that, I need to actually have it rotated slightly at the correct angles to actually get onto it. And then just open it, I guess. It's the same with the one on the other side, so I'm just going to stay on this block and hope that I don't fall off, basically. Just going to be very careful about staying on top. That was actually really well done. Let's open this. Knight's bow. Oh, my inventory's full. How dare you. I really wish you could access your inventory and drop stuff when you're inside of a chest and trying to get something. Because that would just make so much more sense. Did that just drop? No, it's, it's fine. It's right there. I thought it dropped onto, like, through the ground, but no, it's just, it's there. Okay, where are the last terminals? Looks like none of them are up here at the moment. Ah! Didn't mean to drop off that in that way. Now, we can also see these, this line here, which is connected to this electric generator thing. So let's just rotate that. We can see where it is with the line as it's rotating, so that's how we know where it's going to line up. So let's just do that. And now, I think I'm actually going to get on to this, just so I get an idea of looking around the room. Okay. That's going to line up with the roof, which is lining up with the other two pieces, which are just connectors. And if we have that uh, over there activated, which is at the at the the front side of the divine beast, we can just glide over here, or or go along this platform that that it has there, and we can go through here. And in here, we have some lasers being pointed around the place, which we need to be careful of and probably run past us before it gets to it, us and kill us. Let's get rid of this eye as well. That's probably got to be on the other side of this wall as well. So we want to get rid of that. I don't know what was just in that chest, but I'm going to assume it was a weapon. I wasn't paying any attention. So let's get rid of... What am I going to get rid of? I'm going to get rid of... Oh, that's actually a Guardian Spear. OG. Oh, it's a shield. Okay. I can probably take that spear back then. Oh. Didn't mean to mash buttons in that way. Please go, go away. Please grab that. Okay, shields. Um, It's so weird that the... um, The mind's eye is not very high-end defense, but it's probably got better durability than the Coblin and Moblin made stuff. Just, ow! Try to jump over that and fail. I don't think there's anything else down here, although there is a, a marker on the map for a terminal. Um, so now, instead of doing that, let's just probably go down to the other side over here, and I think if I stand here and rotate twice, oh no, I'm wrong, this is fine, can fix this if I just use this platform here, will this work, hopefully, well, I guess I can just go over to here and just walk up, that's probably a better plan than what I was trying to do. Also need to rotate that twice again to actually have the line line up. Oh, I'm this is not ah uh, I failed. I need to be up there. 
Oh my goodness, okay. So, let's rotate twice again, because I'm failing at everything. And there's this little loop thing, I guess. This little arch. If we stand in the middle of the arch, we won't have to worry about accidentally um, falling off, because it's just goes all the way around. And so we don't, yeah, it's just always there to catch us. Now, let's just go onto this, which looks like it actually lines up with this. So that's probably the way it's intended for you to get up. I still think you can just glide across, so. Anyway, now that that's done, the electricity is lined up with this. But it's not going through here. So, let's get out Magnesis. And let's try to fix that. We can have that over there. And that to line up with that. And now, it goes over to here. Which we can connect like that. Oh, and now that's going up. But on the plus side, instead of just moving this back and forth with Magnesis, we can just rotate that, and it'll disconnect. So we now have pretty good control over the electricity in this area. So, let's go over here. And let's rotate another time to add to the rotation all the way. And it should line up, allowing us to be pulled up with this. There are just so many things we've done already that I would have no I had no idea how to do on my first time. I spent so long just running around in circles. Late on a Monday night. Anyway, we can kill that Eye of Malice to get through here. With nothing in our way, basically. Get rid of a few more of those. Now, I need to figure out what I'm meant to be doing in here. Because this is the bit that I probably haven't done properly, but it doesn't matter how you do it. So, it doesn't look like there's an Eye of Malice to do anything with. But what does this do? Oh, that rotates that. Okay. Let's rotate that a little bit more. Please. And that should connect up there. As long as to get across that. Cool. It's also down here that we can go, I believe. Yes. So let's have a look up down here. There's a chest there that I'm probably going to get. And if we shoot this eye, it will open up this path, which I believe is actually just where we came from before. Yeah, there's a little ladder thing down here that we could have climbed up and had the wall in our way. So let's just head back up, and let's go back in. Completely ignoring the enemy that's trying to kill me right now. Okay. What's down here? Well, not a lot. There's a door here that we can't get through. But there are some guardians on the other side we'll probably want to take care of at some point. So now we just need to wait for this elevator, and then grab that chest, and then move on. It's not that complicated, which is nice. That's the thing about the Divine Beasts. They're not that complicated once you know how to use the map. But, yeah. Oh, that's not a chest. That's... Oh, please grab. No. This is not going to work very well. I need to wait for the elevator again. So let's pull that in. So I'm guessing the chest is on the other side. Which it is. Of course. But we have an electric orb now, which is good. Let's just drop that there, please. Okay, please grab... That and pull. Thank you. And now we need to get everything off before it goes down again, including ourselves, because that would be bad to leave everything. Also, I don't think I was supposed to take this orb with me up here, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. Ancient screw. And I think I'm actually gonna just chuck that down there. We'll get to that in a minute. We also have this platform over here that we can go across. And I think I'm actually going to go to my Sheikah sensor. And if I can, I'd like to see if I can actually track treasure chests in here. To try and get them all. 
Oh, there's a guardian right here. Let's get rid of you. Just like that. Three hits. And this elevator actually goes up on this side, so... Which is interesting. Another electric orb for us. Gonna have to use them somewhere. Oh, there's the chest that I need to get. Um, let me drop that down there. Like what I did with the other one. And I think, since this is still... Oh, that was too far. Why are you going so far, Link? Oh my goodness, really? Why? Ugh. That was not what I was trying to do. Oh my goodness, the orb's on this now. Well, let's go up here. And, what I was trying to say, before I glided off way past where I was trying to go, we can hop onto this, which is going to pull us across to the other side to get that treasure chest. Let's open that. Some topaz. And let's head back across, because we're not done on this side yet. So let's hop across. Yeah. Oh, this is actually a terminal right here, but we can't actually get it because it's in the... in the goop. Oh, I'm gonna grab that, please. Let's drop that down. It's actually pretty good. I'm gonna throw that over there out of the way. Now, what is down here that I need to do? Um, well... There's this Eye of Malice, which is probably blocking up this, and I don't think it's blocking up the one up top. I think there's a different one that I need to shoot for that. Let me hop out here quickly and look up to see if I'm correct. No, that it did actually clear the other one, I think. So we have to go back for that. Well, that, that there. Oh, that there. Was I not supposed to jump out? I might not have been supposed to jump out. Maybe, because I think this is actually loops, like links back to the first area. No, maybe? I'm pretty sure there was, yeah, there's this, that's, yeah. I made a slight mistake in not finishing up what was, what was up there, so. Well, that's okay. So, now, we need to uh, rotate this so it links up the things on the sides. Come on, just a little bit more. And it will uh, spin one of them depending on which way you're rotating this giant wheel thing. So let's do that, and that should be good. Now we rotate the other way, which is going... It's, of course it's set up so you have to go all the way around with it. Wouldn't expect anything less. Come on. Oh, stop, 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 please, thank you. Okay, that brings up the head. Which means we can't get to that treasure chest that was in there before. But it means that this elevator is now accessible. Which actually means we can actually glide down to that other entrance. And get back to where we were before. Which is good, so I didn't mess up completely. As long as I just cheat slightly, I suppose. Let's activate this. Two terminals remaining. Stay focused. Okay, I will. So, uh... Oh, that didn't actually break that. So then, how... Am I supposed to get in there? Well, let's find out by gliding down, I suppose. As best I can without messing it up. And let's go in, please. Thank you. Okay, so, there's that up there, which I believe we can activate either with the orb, or I think if we shoot it with an electric arrow, we'll just activate anyway. That opens up this door, allowing us to get through, into the middle. And there are two spots for orbs in here that we can do. Which is simple enough, since we had, we found two orbs. Let me just get rid of these guardians. Like that. Might actually just throw that out now that that's gonna die. Now. Let's grab these parts. Very quickly. Apparently there's another chest somewhere that I haven't got. 
Uh, but this door is open, so let's grab this. And just plop that right there. Just one terminal remaining. You're almost there. Indeed one terminal remaining. So where's this chest? I wanna I don't wanna miss chests because I <laughs> it's I don't I, it's, it's so easy to miss chests. And once you miss them, you miss them. Basically. So where am I missing chest? I don't think it's down. Maybe? Let me head up. If I can get up there before the elevator leaves. Go, 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 go. Oh, that was close. Is there a chest on here that I missed? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. So maybe it's on this somewhere. Somehow. That does seem to make sense, but I don't know how. Oh, is this... A, this might be actually a room that I'm standing on. That might be something to do with it. Because I don't think there's anything way over here. So, let me just glide and don't fall. Back a bit. No, that's not... Where? What? I don't know. How about if I go down here? I'm going to just make sure I get all angles of this so I know what I'm doing. Somewhat. Okay, there's a chest there. Let me... Let me break off the link. To have it come down and figure out where that is. Okay. That's there. Where is that? There, okay. Well, let's rotate that a few more times. So we get back to where we were. Just gonna do the simpler thing, which you're supposed to do. And stand on this. There we go. Although I think you can actually stand on the middle as well and use this. Like, just walk onto that. Okay, let's... Let's... Okay. I'm too high now. But then how... Oh! Too far. Yeah, that's weird. I don't think that's supposed to open. But then I don't know how you're supposed to get to that then. Let me rotate that once or twice, I guess. Okay then. Let me get up to where the map was. Please, 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 please. Okay. Because if we go up here, we can see it, but we can't get to it because there's the wall in the way. That's so weird. How are you supposed to get that? Are you just supposed to glide down? I don't. I don't think I could when I was trying to do that, do that earlier. Maybe. Let me figure this out. I also probably want to... Ah, it's so weird. I don't even know. But it's a personal goal to get this now, so... If I don't get it, it's going to be very disappointing. Is there a dropping point somewhere here? Yeah, let me... Do that. I guess this is how you're supposed to do that, then. Because I can't see any other way you're supposed to do that. Ancient gear, that's not the best reward from all that, but I guess that's alright. Now, where's the thing? Way, way away. That's where. Okay, we have one more terminal left, which is the one that was covered in the goops. I don't know if there are any treasure chests left, which could be good.
But I guess there's only one way to find out, and that's to go look at literally everything in the universe. And I also need to figure out how to get this chest out of the, the, the terminal out of the goop. Because I didn't see any way to do that when I was over there earlier, but I might have missed something, which is very easy for me to do. Oh wow, just walking right through there is really useful. Come on. Come on, elevator. Oh, there we go. Well, let's shoot. Not with the electric. Um, please. There we go. So there's all that. So that was just there, apparently. Okay. Let's activate this. Well done. That was the last of the terminals. Now, you'll need to start up the main control unit. Take a good look at your map. Head for the glowing moth you see there. You're doing well. But overconfidence can be a deadly foe. Okay. So now that all that is done, we just need to head down to the middle, which is not that hard to do. And then we can just go in. Also, you could just stand on top of the doorway here as it rotates, because it, it rotates when the um, when the electricity is going through the top area. So, let's just do a whole bunch of that. Rotate literally everything. All of it. And... Just like that. Let's activate this final terminal. Formidable adversary was made by Gan and brought me to a warrior's demise 100 years ago. Do not allow this to be your end. Fight for your life and its death. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Thunderblight Ganon is probably the toughest boss that you're gonna find. And is the reason why you should probably do other Divine Beasts first. This is probably why this is the last one you should do. But, if you're feeling confident, like I am, apparently, I would recommend doing this now. Because it's actually got some good stuff for you, if you do it. Um, let's heal a little bit. It's very fast, and very strong. You can deflect its attacks though, which is good. No, oh, come on. I wanna shield bash it if I can, like that, and then just do some damage. Come on, do damage, do damage, more damage, more damage. I almost one cycled the first half. Oh, missed. Oh, careful. Oh, jump out of the way of that. Electricity is gonna be very annoying because it will make you drop your weapons. But if you can just keep it at arm's length, you should be fairly good. Oh, there goes my my blade. As it's coming towards you, you probably want to shield bash just before it arrives, which is a little bit tricky. But, oh, get out of the way. I don't think you can deflect... You might be able to deflect his attacks back at him. You can also just break his shield by enough damage to him. Watch that lightning. His shield does regenerate after you've broken it down. 
But, oh my goodness, okay. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's up there. You probably want to try and get him down here if you can. Oh, I'm gonna just quickly... Hang on, where is my... Oh, can I not rotate anything during this? Okay, then. Stay away from everything here. I really need him down here, though. So I'm gonna stand over here and hope that he comes closer. There he is. I think you also possibly want to stand up on his level. But anyway, if we can get his own attack close enough to him, he'll strike himself with lightning, and we can just slash at him some more. And then it's similar to before, but now he's also electric. So you really need to be careful not to get hit now, because you will drop everything, and it will be bad. Oh, come on. Just break his shield down. Go, 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 go! Remember, this is very good if you can manage to beat him now. This is why I would recommend doing it now, because it's a very good reward. Okay, please. 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 Oh, come on. Oh, he's electric. No, he's not. Oh, he's doing that now. Urgh. Radiant shield broke, that's a shame. Where is he? Right there. How? Please axe. Please axe. Oh, heal. Heal, heal. Don't, don't get distracted. Heal. Okay. Ow. Oh, he's tough. Let me, I'm gonna use something. Probably that. I don't care about the stat effect, status effects not mattering. Ow. Oh my goodness. I just need healing. I don't, I don't, I don't care about the effects. Oh my goodness, just, oh my goodness. He is just hitting me so much. Probably having an electric resistance potion, elixir thing would be good. But I don't, so I'm all right. Actually, I might. Please, please hit him. Please. And... I would definitely recommend having more health when going into this, but I managed to do it with enough skill, so let's go. Grab this heart container, which would have been good earlier. And now, let's take back to the, the Divine Beast, Barnaboris. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Link. Thanks to your valor and skill, my soul is free, and Noboros is ours once again. Which means that finally, we can complete what we started years ago. We Gerudo have no tolerance for unfinished business. I've waited so long for the moment to see you finally rush Hyrule Castle. As well as for the moment when I incinerate Ganon into a pile of ash. Which reminds me, I wanted to give you a little something. 
please accept this gift, which has come to be known as Urbosa's Fury. It will no doubt be of use to you. Both you and the princess, I know you have suffered much regarding what happened to us champions. But this is how things had to happen. No one need carry blame. So please, make it clear so she understands that. Tell her to shed any worries. And let her know. I couldn't be more proud of her. You take good care of the princess. Oh. And also, take good care of Hyrule. Legend of the Gerudo, celebrated over ages. And you, who were named to honor her. You are a legend as well. Isn't that right, Naboris? The bitter essence of defeat from a century ago still sits upon my tongue. But that is now in the past. It was written that Calamity Ganon once adopted the form of a Gerudo. And that will make this victory all the more satisfying. I like that. Now I can take this personally. Once we've established a lock on that thing, it will be up to Link to keep Ganon occupied until the moment we unleash our strike. That moment is going to be so delicious. <laughs> Urbosa's Fury, a destructive power born from the unbridled anger of the champion Urbosa, summons powerful lightning to the surrounding area. Trigger with a charge attack by holding Y. This is probably our strongest attack. We just need to charge for a little bit, have it surround us, and we strike lightning. This is so strong, 
It unfortunately has to recharge like the other one, but that's just how it is. We get three uses of it every time it charges. And it's just so strong that you could probably go to the talus, like the stone talus on the Great Plateau and finish it in the one hit. And sometimes like the stronger ones, you could hit them in two. It's just so good. We'll be looking at that some other point in time, so. And that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.